In the early 1900s, brain surgery was risky, messy, and usually fatal, until one man stepped in and changed it forever, Harvey Cushing. Born in 1869 in Cleveland, Ohio, he came from a family of doctors. After studying at Harvard Medical School, he became a surgical genius. But Cushing didn't want to follow the crowd, he wanted to master the brain. At the time, brain operations were like guesswork. Survival rates were low. Cushing believed that precision and cleanliness could change that. He brought in innovations no one had seen before. Better anesthesia, patient monitoring, and surgical techniques. Cushing was one of the first to use x-rays in brain surgery. He also introduced the use of electrocautery to stop bleeding, a total game changer. And he didn't stop there. He developed special instruments designed just for brain surgery. His meticulous style reduced brain surgery death rates from over 50% to under 10%. He kept incredibly detailed patient records, sketches, notes, and even photos. He described and classified brain tumors like no one before him. In fact, he discovered and gave name to a condition now called Cushing's disease. His work laid the foundation for neurosurgery as a medical specialty. Patients from around the world sought him out, and many lived because of him. By the time he retired, Cushing had performed over 2,000 brain surgeries. He trained an entire generation of neurosurgeons who carried his legacy forward. He wasn't just a surgeon, he was a pioneer, an artist, a visionary. Harvey Cushing died in 1939, but his legacy lives on in every modern operating room. He showed the world that even the most complex organ could be healed with care, science, and courage. Harvey Cushing, the man who brought brain surgery out of the dark ages.